Many of the main EMTB brands have different philosophies when it comes to such things as adjustability or torque, modes and displays, and many of you will know these. But in this series of videos, I want to talk about some of the lesser known features, beginning with the Shimano EP8, which is available on over 70 EMTBs. There are many pros and cons to all EMTB motors, and it's not just a simple fact that one motor is more powerful than the other, or that they have different battery capacities. No, it's such things as the different software, as adjustability, as the ways to tune the sweet spot, and of course, customization. For example, this Canyon Torque might need a different setup in terms of the way the power is delivered compared to the Spectral. <laughs> Folks, let's begin my list of top five lesser known Shimano EP8 uh, features by discussing the battery. Now, the stock Shimano battery, which is found on bikes such as the Canyons and the Meridas, have this uh, charging port here, but and that's here as in Welsh, but uh, the port isn't actually an integral part of the battery. So if you live in an apartment or you're traveling with your EMTB and uh, you can't take the bike into the room, then you will need a charging adapter which plugs into the battery, which enables you to do that remotely. Right, what do we know about the ride character of the EP8 motor? Well, having recently spent considerable amount of time with Chris Ackrig, uh, doing some pretty terrifying things, I can tell you that there's many things that stand this motor out. Now, the EP8 actually replaced the older E8000 motor in 2020. And one of the characteristics of EP8 is that it actually spins up pretty quickly. And also the fact that it hasn't got quite as much overrun as say the Bosch or Bro systems. So is this a good or bad thing you might ask? Well, it's simply different and therefore needs to be ridden in a certain way. You need to tune into it. Um, let's take an example of hill climbing. Now on mellower tech, techy climbs or maybe on fire roads, you can spin that motor up pretty easily and it is the equal all, all, of all of the motors. But when you move on to maybe steeper, techier climbs where you're sat down and this is the key point if you're sat down because the motor doesn't overrun quite as much as some of the other motors you really need to be aware of this and factor that in when you're climbing so you need to anticipate maybe a little bit more but when it comes to super steep hills and this is where Chris Ackrig really opened my mind into the character of the EPA motor because it hasn't got overrun, that means you can actually stand up on the pedal and get up arguably steeper climbs than on some other motors. And I think this is a very strong characteristic of that EP8 motor. Nevertheless, this all comes down to customization, which is my next point. Point three is the fact that Shimano are one of the few brands that allow you to customize your motor. Uh, and so the ride character, which I mentioned a minute ago, is actually dependent on the settings. Now you can change the settings uh, via the Shimano eTube app, and you can actually uh, make your bike ride any which way you want to. I think this is really important if you want to change uh, the character. For example, the Canyon Torque is more of a bike park style bike, whereas the Canyon Spectral is more of an adventure trail setting bike so you can go for maybe sort of higher power less battery or lower power and more range in short you have 10 levels of assist character five levels of assist startup and you can set the maximum amount of torque best suited to your riding style across the three modes of eco trail and or boost so you can save your preferences of your different motor character and then set them as two different profiles which you can switch between on your display. Now my fourth less known feature, I mean is it a less known feature? I mean many of you will know about it but uh, it still blows my mind how many people do not know about the two preset profiles which are available on the Shimano EP8 bike. 
The original factory settings consist of Profile 1 with more versatile assist settings that cover everything from fire rows to challenging single tracks. And, and Profile 2 with high performance default assist settings tuned for extreme riding, rapidly delivering the maximum assist in technical sections. Now, as I mentioned, you can actually change those profile settings yourself, but it's worth bearing in mind that the brands can do that as well. And they do that to give their bikes a personal feeling. So for example, a Canyon Torque might have a very different preset to say a nuke proof megawatt and uh, so if you're going to say test days make sure that you test different bikes and also make sure that the settings are equivalent on all the bikes you ride uh, okay folks now before i go into my final point did you actually know about shimano link glide well maybe you should too because there has been a lot of talk about the cost of maintaining e-mountain bikes lately and well shimano are one of the few to make a more robust e-bike offering in the new link glide system it's said to offer smoother shifting and slower decline of the component parts a range of heavier duty cassettes chains derailers and shifters designed to deal with higher torque systems there's always been a good walk assist mode on the ep8 but that has been raised to the level of intelligent walk assist with di2 now i don't have di2 on here but it simply means you can hop off without shifting very cool so there you go folks there's quite a lot to the ep8 motor which is one of the most lightweight at 2.6 kilos with improved heat management uh, over the previous e8000 but you know what i'm going to give you a few more things i mean for example have you actually seen this handlebar which has got an integral uh, display built into it from Pro uh, and also the range of displays you can get with uh, EP8 you've got the 6000 display you've got the 6010 and also you've got the 5000 display so you can actually customize uh, your, your your set you can go for min minimalist dis uh, display or you can go for a more involved display on your handlebar but remember if you want to do that with EP8 you've got to have an adapter uh, to switch between all those different displays so there you go folks uh, ep8 hopefully that will have given you a little bit of insight into things you might not know about obviously some of you guys will know a lot about them already but um yeah let's know your thoughts if you've got any questions about shimano ep8 get involved in the comments below uh, and we'll see you next time uh, in our series of videos on the lesson of things about some of these motors where we'll talk about uh, the bosch fourth gen motor so see you next time